Lady, this is national television. Previously on Survivor Stars of Sulani, Sergio cozies up to the older tribe members and Kid retaliates by recruiting Giselle and Zahara to him and Cecilia's alliance. Abigail and Filippo connect to hatch some plans, and Giselle is gorging all her food and the Mahina has started a record-breaking four fires in one episode. At the immunity challenge, our castaways got creative at the easel, but none as striking as Mahina's art which won them two shower stalls. In a close finish, Lanui survives again and sends Hoku to tribal council. At tribal council, Supriya plays her hidden immunity idol and cancels two votes against her. In a nerve-wracking tie between Harun and Abigail, unfortunately it was Abigail who became the second person voted out of this game. 16 are left, who will go home tonight? Hello, hello, and thank you for tuning in to my channel. I hope you're having a kick butt day, and I hope this video can make it extra kick butt. The Hoku tribe has returned silently to camp after an insane tribal council where Supriya could have gone home. Nonetheless, the survivors turn in for the night in hopes that the next day will be better. It's the morning, and the hidden immunity idol has been hidden, well not really, again next to their pool. Filippo is up, but I don't think the idol is the first thing on his mind right now. Brayden is sticking to Filippo like glue after the stunt that they pulled last night. And Supriya is also visibly very upset that her lions turned on her so quick. At least Harun is still on talking terms with Filippo. On the Mahina tribe, it seems like Zahara has had enough of Sergio's constant talk about the game and lashes out at him well. Uh, Giselle is living for this drama. And Zahara seems to turn to Joaquin in the heat of this moment. On the Lanui tribe, it's chill as usual with some marshmallows and conversation. Oh, ooh, what's that sound? Wow, really? Looks like Supriya managed to work her magic to make amends with Brayden, and Filippo for that matter. Here's to hoping they don't have to head back to tribal. Although, if lighting fires is part of the challenge again, I think they're screwed. But not as much as Lanui, who is our fire starter today, who we. Cecilia and Kid bond even closer while. Oh, Giselle? This woman flirts every chance she gets, doesn't she? <laughs> Joaquin panics, he doesn't know what to do. Oh my god, eee! Good news is, seems like Filippo has found the idol and no one seems to notice too. Look at his smile, he really needed some form of protection ever since the first tribal. Sergio and Kid seem to be getting along much better, although it doesn't seem like Kid wants to work with Joaquin though. More for Sergio, I guess. At least the girls on the Mahina tribe are getting along fine. Avery manages to find some peace of mind through Layla talking to him again, while Ranbir continues to be a beacon of light for his tribe mates. The alliance of four gather for some discussion, but Kimiko doesn't seem to be phased at all. She must really, really trust her girls. Oh, looks like Kimiko finally wants to speak to Avery. Hmm. And before you know it, night falls and the tribe mates gather over campfire before bedtime. Ayana wakes up in the mood and proceeds to chew out Layla for something. Probably not the best move before an immunity challenge, girl. And she proceeds to socialize with the boys. Oh my, she finally stepping out and playing a game of her own? Also, Kimiko seems to be having a hard time this morning, and Layla? Oh my god, oh, what are you doing? Put some clothes on, lady. This is national television. I present to you our third immunity challenge. We have a bar, a maze, the return of the dirty pond water, and some basketball hoops. Are you excited? Cause I am. And it looks like our survivors are aching to start the challenge too. Alright, let's just review the challenge real quick. On my go, each tribe will send one member at a time to make a flaming zesty salt drink. They must then drink it no matter the quality, and with that in their system, they must navigate this maze and then swim the dirty water over to the other map. Is it safe to drink and swim, you ask? Is anything safe in The Sims? 
When they reach the mat, the rest of the members repeat the same task until all four of them reach the mat to begin the second part of this challenge. One by one, the members must attempt to score one basketball goal each in order to win immunity. When all four members finish, they can sit on the bench and immunity is theirs to take. In addition to immunity, the first place players will also get a cooler and a grill. And the cooler should provide some meal alternatives like yogurt, I think. Uh, and the second place tribe will get just the cooler. Or, as an alternative, they can trade their grill and coolers for some showers if their tribe doesn't have them yet. And the tribe in the last place will get nothing but a trip to tribal council. Alrighty, and our sit-outs today are Cecilia and Kit for Mahina and Kimiko and Ayana for Lanui. There may be a lot of pausing and random cuts because of the nature of this challenge, but let's begin. Looks like Avery, Joaquin, and Filippo kick us off and dang, they probably have all done this before. I don't even have to queue up their actions to take a drink. I think all of these adults are starved for some... juice. Looks like Lanou is in the lead and Hoku is sadly in last place again. Better keep up the pace if you don't want to be last. Avery is tearing through this water and before you know it, Zario goes next for Lanui. Sergio does it for Mahina and Harun for Hoku. Zario finishes quick and chugs his drink. Oh Harun, please don't wave, you have a challenge to do. Zario maintains his lead and Sergio and Harun are neck and neck. Lanu is doing freaking amazing. Grandir begins the challenge and oof, he's not good at this I guess. <laughs> the ladies struggle as well, oh dear. Um, Grandir, honey, now's not the time to have a good time. Oh my, Supri is flying through the maze while Ranbir is cruising? Hello? Run boy, run! This... You have a challenge to complete. Supriya and Zahara waste no time and wow, Supriya has made up a lot of time for Hoku. Giselle and Brayden go last and Layla also slowly walks up to the bar. This could really spell trouble for Lanui. Brayden finishes and makes a run for it while Layla is truly yeah. struggling to down this drink. Just get it done, lady. Your competitors are almost at the end. Yeah. Well, Brayden makes it to the mat and Hoku can begin the basketball challenge. Supriya goes for a shot and holy moly, instantly makes it in. And Zahara be here missing. Lanui catches up as Zario makes a successful shot. Mahina's in trouble now with Zahara missing all her shots. Layla and Filippo take a turn while Zahara... Honey... Physical strength really comes into play here. Zahara and Filippo take their shots and wow... Zahara misses yet again but Filippo makes a play. Oh. Oh my god, freaking finally. Zahara scores Mahina their first point and so does Layla. Harun goes for a shot and misses. Oof, and Avery too, but Joaquin ties it up for the Mahina tribe in just one shot. Each tribe has two points now and two more to go. Giselle goes in and Harun makes the shot. Avery totally misses though. Wait, Harun, stop. Can you sit down? Well, in the midst of all that chaos, Avery scores as well, bringing Lanui so close to victory next to Hoku. Giselle also makes a successful shot, and now all three tribes are one away from winning immunity. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for this, but my recording lagged and some footage got lost. But at the point, Brayden makes a successful shot as soon as I unpause, which means Hoku already has immunity. So it's between Ranbir for Lanui and Sergio for Mahina. Sergio takes a shot and misses no shot for Ranbir either. Sergio goes again. And he does it! Mahina wins immunity! Congratulations Hoku, you guys were amazing today and no tribal council for you for once. Also, after a random draw, the Hoku tribe have chosen showers instead of a grill. And for Mahina, very close call but you remain undefeated. No tribal council for you guys either and you win a grill and cooler for your tribe courtesy of Hoku. Enjoy your afternoons! Sadly, Lanui, your performance is a huge miss, especially you, Ranbir. And you have to attend Tribal Council for the first time tonight. You will have the evening to discuss who you would like to vote for. Zario goes back to camp upset at their loss while his good buddy Avery consoles him. This is such a cute bromance. 
Kimiko is fuming at their loss while Zario goes to cry in the tent. Runbeer begins to apologize to the very displeased Kimiko and Zario for his painful to watch performance at the challenge. His time may just be up, but we will see. Kimiko goes to Avery to discuss some plans. She really only turns to people when she needs them. Ayana also steps into the conversation. She's probably working with Kimiko to get Avery on their side for some reason. Also, doesn't this new grill look fabulous? I'm quite proud of it myself. Guys, just because you have a new grill doesn't mean you have to keep cooking. Guys, please. Tribal inches closer and closer and it seems like Ayana is taking the driver's seat here. She and Layla are truly in the middle, so will they stick with Zario and Avery? Or stay girl strong? Oh wow, the whole gang's here. And with this flame, we transition over to Tribal Council. Welcome to Tribal Council for the first time, Lanui. You have lost today's immunity challenge, and unfortunately the time has come to vote one of your tribe mates out of this game. I know you ain't ready for this jolly party to end, but let's get to voting. I have the vote. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Alright, I will now read the vote. First vote, Kimiko. That's one vote, Kimiko. Next vote, Ranbir. We're tied. One vote, Kimiko. One vote, Ranbir. Next vote, Kimiko. We are two votes, Kimiko. One vote, Ranbir. Moving on. Ranbeer. We're tied again. Two votes Kimiko and two votes Ranbeer. Fifth vote, Kimiko. Three votes Kimiko, two votes Ranbeer, and one vote left. Ranbeer, we have a tie. We will now have a re-vote. Kimiko and Ranbeer, you two will not vote, and for everyone else, you may only vote for Kimiko or Ranbeer. If the votes still result in a tie, we will go to Rocks, where Kimiko and Ranbeer will both be safe, while one of the four of you will be eliminated from a random rock drawing. Decide carefully and let's get to voting. I will now read the vote. First vote, Kimiko. One vote, Kimiko. Second vote, Ranbeer. We are tied again. One vote, Kimiko. One vote, Ranbeer. Next vote, Ranbeer. We are at two votes, Ranbeer. One vote, Kimiko. And one vote left. Kimiko, we are deadlocked in a tie. As the rules go, Kimiko and Rambeer are now safe from elimination, and I have put the remaining four of you in a raffle to decide who goes home. You will then re each receive a crate which contains a rock, and you will open that at the same time. If you get a black rock, you are safe. If you get a white rock, you are unfortunately eliminated from the game. Alright, the crates are ready, so let's reveal your rocks. Unfortunately, Zario, I'm sorry, but you are eliminated from this game by rocks. We're sorry to see you go. Oh my god, I'm genuinely upset with this, literally crying. We lost a good competitor in Zario, and he was in such a good position too. Such a pity that he is gone pre-merge. As for the five of you, congratulations on staying, and I suspect there will be some tension back at camp, so do your best at the next challenge and I will see you then. Good night. <sighs> I am genuinely upset that it had to be Rox and Zario was our unfortunate victim. It seemed like the girls stayed together for the vote despite Ayana and Layla having a majority alliance, which really speaks volumes at how much grip Kimiko has on this tribe. 
With the boys down in numbers and Zario going home, leaving Avery stranded, it will be interesting to see where they will go from here. What did you think of Zario going home? Did you expect him to go further? Let me know down in the comments. And if you have liked this episode at any point, smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.